Hey, what's going on, everybody? Pleasure to be with y'all. It's boy, you go gaming. Welcome to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. We got a brief one for you today. I'm actually going to bring this to the classic Walt here with Speed Mock Chronicles. Um, you guys know, like this series I've been playing on. sensitive to early game uh i've heard i've seen that around some places they think you gotta like get this guy right before you get out of like nevroberg and before you get to happy garland cross the desert no you, that's good to do it's a good habit maybe if you like right when you get to nevroberg find him at the church just so you don't have to find him walking around the usual loop but you actually have some time here like i said i'm on, i'm in new haven and I've, I've actually progressed pretty far in the story just right before i get really locked into the story and get to the end game parts um, just kind of clearing up some side quests here. That's what I've been doing the last couple of videos here before I really get into the side quests. Or before I really get into the main quest, just clearing up some side quests. So we're here in Happy Garlo, just pulled into the station. And what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to get, I'm going to board my Tropmobile here. And from my Tropmobile, got a nice little music change right there. Uh, So this is like a kind of a music and action RPG game. Makes one argue that it's like a music game and RPG mixed in one. I 
like being here. It's gonna go in. This very first building, very first one. If you're looking at these three buildings, it's the one on the very far left. If you walk up to this building, it's gonna be called the GTW Steel Manufacturing Plant. We go inside. It's about noon. It's about noon. It's gonna be a couple days, like I said. We gotta talk to him, get a couple different dialogues. He's gonna say, Oh, didn't I meet you before? We're gonna say, Yes, I remember you very well. We uh, told you you can do the ambitious thing you want to. He's gonna talk about, you know, he said that I could, uh, you, you said I could become rich. I came here because there's a lot of opportunities. See, they're already ready to go. I guess we can, we can sit in for one show with them. I'll talk to Marjorie back here.
Sounds like this is a Oh, hello. I am so sorry about that, chat. I just had a very important phone call. It was the President of the United States. He needed to get my opinion on something. So, <laughs> I am back. Let's go ahead and finish up this concert here. Got the accordion on this one I'm playing. There's a bunch of musical instruments you can get on it. If you've been watching the uh, stream since the beginning, you will see all the musical instruments that you can buy in this game so far. Love the accordion on this song. It's such a great game. Such a well put together game. I, know, I, I mean, Atlas, top, probably top three kind of albums. They just produce so much quality. When you're so and so high and I am left alone. Where 
Harmonica's a really good instrument. You know, your voice on harmonica is really good. That's a really fun one. I feel like it needs the drums, but it needs the drums. So I want to go on the drums. Alright, there's that concert done. Alright. Everyone liked it, yay! A standing ovation, oh wow. Very rarely have I got standing ovation. Alright, so we played for the next. Okay, so that was just a nice little. <coughs> Gotta change the pace thing. Um, let's go finish up the side quest here, it's gonna take a minute. We got a lot of running back and forth still to do. Let me go up here to this first room. Let's see if I can get this here. I'm gonna sleep here. What I want to do is I'm gonna sleep here and I want to go back to Joaquin and I want to see if his dialogue has changed. That's what we're gonna be looking for, his dialogue to change.
dialogue change. The last time you were was talking about opportunities. These dialogues should change up a little bit this time. And it's going to start talking about stocks. And that's exactly what we want to see. We want to see Joaquin talking about stocks. Board back up on my champion Tribunal, and I'm heading back over to the GT Dead Factory. because this one is a kind of a long one with how many days you Welcome! Um, you can always progress if you want to play a couple more shows or do any date nights with the girls. But, like I said, I'm just kind of beelining it. We're going to do another day of sleep. stocks here in just a second you keep throwing this word around while well, you keep talking about stocks what's it all about you go well, i'll tell you old uncle jig is about to tell you so jigo tells you 
already getting your tribe mobile up. Third time we're going to the G2 Dub factory. They have us wasting a lot of gas to get to this. This is exactly what, this is exactly right here. If you're, take the video and pause it, because I'm telling you right here. Oh, hi, Devin. Thank you. Yes, the game is very loud. This is just a very loud game. So I'm trying to be a lot louder than the game. Hopefully my voice is uh, chiming in over. I've been trying some new stuff with my microphone on the last couple. One thing I got a good audio configuration here. But this, this game is just really loud. So hopefully you can hear me good over it. If you're watching the video, this is where you want to pause it right here because this is the dialogue we want to hear. I'm looking for hotel stocks. As soon as you see that, you should have a, a just a light bulb right over your head. Like, this is exactly what's going on. I know exactly what this guy is looking for. Because if you remember from the last videos, we've been talking to the hotel uh, daughter. The son and the daughter in their Romeo and Juliet story with the battle royal. So... They're looking for somebody who can get some stocks from their parents because they want to put their warring fathers. They kind of want to just like sabotage your business. I guess that's where you could say sabotage. So the guy, Joaquin, are joking. How, joking, everyone say it. It's about to get real freaky nasty. It's about to get super freaky nasty. This guy right here, he's looking for hotel stocks. Can't find any. That's okay because we're about to give him the insider scoop with some uh, maybe potentially illegal insider trading. But let's not think about all that. If I could find some e-hotel stocks, I'd buy it right now, even if it meant going into debt. That's exactly the freaky deaky kind of deal we want to hear about. He's going to pay more than the going rate for these. So not only is this illegal and freaky deaky, but he is looking to get rich quick. That's exactly what we want to hear. I'm going to click on that again just to make sure I've exhausted the dialogue and I get the same thing. Looking for hotel stocks. I wish I could find some. Uh, even if it meant going into debt, I'm willing to pay way more than... So literally. Literally. That's what I'm saying. Like, why the fuck was I going to elementary school back before the housing crash in 2008? Why was I going to school when I should have been illegally buying stocks from, like, through some insider trading? Like, what the hell? Why didn't they tell me that in school? That's what I should have been doing. And now we're in the middle of a housing crisis. I mean, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> Um, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Anyways, yeah, I do actually know. We're going to go back to the lobster inn. <laughs> we're going to go for the third time. Back to the lobster inn. We're going to sleep. Here's why. Because we're going to progress the story. I told you. I already told you. I said this one's going to be a couple of days that we do this one. Literally, if I could turn back time, that's the decision I would have made. I would have bought 500 stocks. I'm about to show you why, too. Okay, so you know how we're just going to talk about the stocks? You... Okay, so he wants the stocks. We're about to get the stocks. There is a way you can keep the stocks and actually gain profit, 500 to 1,000 a day, just by sitting on the stocks. Dude, this game is great. So this game is a music game. Um, Welcome! 
I'll play a little bit of music here. I'm gonna play some street music. This is probably one of my favorite games ever. Honestly, this is probably, probably my favorite game ever. This one stood the test of time. You, it's just an RPG game with a little bit of a music, um, kind of like a music uh, rhythm game, I guess you could say. I mean, you get a bunch of different uh, instruments, though. They, I don't know the complete story, but they have like a, a jazz artist or somebody who actually like they cater to give her songs and stuff like that. So I could just be on like the street corner here. I could have my guitar. Maybe I want to do like, any of my songs, or I just want to do some practice. You know, we're just going to do some practice. We're now. Oh, okay. I'll do the sax next. I'll do the sax next. Because each one has its own kind of like mini game, I would say. So here's like the guitar mini game. You just kind of have to. And I'll play the sax one, and you'll see the difference. All right. So the, I like a little rhythm game. And sometimes the people will stop by and they'll cheer for me. They'll be like, yay, music. I fucking love it. Look, look, is he there? Oh my god. This lady that was just walking by, she stopped. We got this lady, she'll stop. Oh, no, she's walking on by. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll see her on the flip side. Now, when you get a lot of people walking on the street, you'll get a pretty big crowd, as you can see. Um, we got a couple people though. It's still pretty early in the morning. We got our uh, all the housewives that are out making their morning errands with their their children and all that. I got 18 whole cents for that. Wow, that's more than Spotify pays. We're already doing better than a modern day musician. Okay, let's try the saxophone now. Oh, hold on. Funny story, the sax actually used to be called the axe. That was the, what the hip people call it. <laughs> yeah, I got the I got the granny panties. I got I said, oh god, why is this one so moist? Why is this moist? Oh god. Oh god, oh god, I forget how to um Oh god. Um I actually have not played the fucking saxophone forever! I forget how this video goes. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of R1s. Oh. Ooh, gotcha. Red and white. It's just I isolated vocal tracks. In the picture of your world. This will give us give us a big crowd. When the soul is so high and I am left alone. Here on the ground. So high up there, like a bird, a bird, I'll wish I could fly to you, but I can't, I wish I could fly to you, but where are my wings, you took them away from me, probably gonna start throwing things at me, Never that's not gonna be candies. It's gonna be hard on this. Like rocks. Back to me. Cell phones. <laughs> you stole them from my back. I you have a little bit of crowd out now. Them off. The scars will be right there. And I'll never be able to fly right to you. Only cause I can. Fucking love the vocals on that track of this whole song. All right, so that's the sax. So each one has like like its own little mini games and stuff like that. <laughs> Open up this. No, that's not my character's voice. That's Connie's. She's the lead singer. But I like to think, it's like when you sing the Evanescence song, like, and you gotta get to the female parts, you tie your shirt up into a little tube top, and you start singing the female parts, like, my female inside, my So, yeah, just like that. But the lead singer, so, hold on here. I'm out. I'm out. So, 
There's a whole band. This game revolves around the whole band. Welcome! This is one of the backup singers right here, but the actual singer is Connie. Let me see if I can get her to make an appearance. And maybe I'll do another another show here real quick. With the full band. I like the full band shows. Okay, so uh let's go to the let's go to noon. But it's exactly like that. You just got to use he, the character. I just pretend that they sing both parts. If there's like, usually it's mainly um, female vocals. And like, like I said, the person who does this song, um, her name was like, starts with it in like Nadja or something like that. And as far as I know, they're her song. So of course, you know, female fronted uh, group, even solo act, it's gonna be. So we have a female singer. And this is actually the person who sings and plays the guitar in this game for the songs. Her name's Connie. Which is actually funny, because everyone else has, a, like, a name that's a food item. Like, this is basil. This is margarine. This is savory. This guy's name is vanilla. And then you got Connie. <laughs> her name's, her mom's name is Rosemary. <laughs> and then you got Connie. <laughs> I think her actual name, Connie's just short for Coriander. Which, yeah, that's a spy, so it makes sense. But she's the one who sings it. If I go up to this guy, Marjoram, he says, Oh, ready for the show? Yeah, sure, I'm all set. Uh, I can pick what I want to play. Some songs I can do the saxophone. He's on the saxophone um, for this. But if I can actually open that up, maybe. Maybe I can open that up. No, he's going to be a butt about it. So I'll just play, I'll play the harmonica, whatever. I don't want to play saxophone anyways. Game. This one's not as this one's actually a vertical yes, minigame. I was a victim of your words. You suddenly said you love me. You were a fool to say so. I got my microphone over here. I my tried. My, 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 my. Like in the new emotes, we got Bubba. Oh, we got Bubba with the binoculars. <laughs> like I, I, I love every time I see that. And down. then we got the top of you. This whole OST is fire. I love this. This got me into like, this is probably the game that got me into music more than anything. Just because it had a lot of banger tracks on it. You suddenly. And then you hear it like three times, and all of a sudden you're just singing all the fucking lyrics for some reason. Ah. Uh, and then you see the female part. Bring it, bring it back to the. All right. Yeah, I'll play the drums for this one. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm putting myself into the fucking drum on this song. Oh god, here we go. Oh god, they're gonna start throwing things.
Oh god. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, with the lady with the white Tesla, you left your lights on. When you're so and so high, man, and I left a gray Silverado. There's one more song, and then I'll finally finish up this quest here. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good for one more. Um, man, he really doesn't want me to play saxophone. So, one I haven't played yet is the trumpet. I'll try trumpet.
um, a real good check just to see where we are. So we talked about the stocks and all that. I'm gonna go real quick. Just to do a check. I'm gonna go talk to Algernon. I don't remember who Algernon is. He's the boyfriend that is the killer. Inside of, um, Besides this game having me completely backwards, that was the right one. I don't know why the interior looks a little different. Maybe that was just the So, yeah, I'm pretty good. Though. Okay, yeah, that's just me, just not. <laughs> I did the wrong turn there. Alright, so this is the hotel we want all the rest. The Algernon's gonna be right back here, right where Fiddle's band is in the restaurant. Uh, the restaurant does have a Travel time because there's still going to be a little bit of back and forth we have to do. Now I'm going to go back to the, to the lobster inn and I'm going to rest till night. But this should be the last time we have to go to Memorial Park. We have to do any of that. We're talking to Joe, the Joaquin at the uh, GTW factory. We've talked to him, you know, as many times as we need. He's now talking about how he wants to tell us how he wants to use hotel stocks, specifically hotel stocks. I'm just talking about stocks, but take you on in on some hotel stops. So now here we go with some illegal insider trading. Welcome! Alright, so we played with the band. Time to rest up till night. Now, remember I said night. We're gonna have to go past evening. If you're going from the morning, you're gonna have to go through noon. You're gonna have 
have to go through evening, then you'll get night. I got to do a couple rests here, and there's no good way to do it just straight to night. It, it, you got to go through the progression. As you can even see, it gave me options for morning or morning with some food. So, I was actually going to be important because I'm going to be starving probably. No? No? Snacky. Welcome! Go back up here. And we're gonna sleep till night. Not evening, night. Let's see the lights on. Oh, there's the street lights. Sleeping until night. Exactly what we want. doesn't have a loading screen so the other side it does have a loading screen for some reason this one you can just go straight to the connecting walkway without it going through the loading screen so it's just a slight bit faster now it will have a loading screen of course when you go to the connecting walkway but here i'll show you what i mean here as i exit all right so here's what they're going to be up here any other time if you you'll know they're you, you're not at this point because if you go up here at this point no one's going to be up here not until you get to this point, they start talking about hotel stocks on y'all, uh, on Keith's side. Algernon starts talking to you about meet me at night. He's gonna be with his girl here. Rose. Or Rosa. Rosalind. So, um, this is the dialogue we want. Did you find someone willing to buy the stocks? Yes, we did. We found... Joaquin. We found him in Nephroberg. Talk to him about hearing him out about it. He's going to become rich someday. We encouraged him to follow his dreams. He's came here to Happy Garland. Did the Quail Tunnel did everything to make sure that he gets there. After talking to him, we've done the back and forth now between the hotel daughter and all this and trying to figure it out. We 
talk to him at the factory. We know he wants the hotel stocks. Yes, we have found someone willing to buy the stocks. A man named... There he is. Quick map. Can you tell me about him? station hotel stocks. Take a look what happens now that I get these stocks. I want you to take a look what happens with my stock prices when I wake up on a daily value. She says, please sell them to Yoki. But here's a little tip. You don't have to sell them immediately. You can keep the stocks on you and like I said, you're going to get that 500 to 1,000. You are a day added to your you could be looking for something like the dress for Kami. You could be wanting to buy some upgrades. This is a good way right here to make it. Take some time, a couple of days, and just let those build. If you've already been playing the stock market over here at Happy Garland, buying some stocks like I have, so I got some of my 800 a day, that 500 to 1,000 is just going to get added to what you've already been accumulating. And here's what I mean by the loading screen real quick. So I went to the station hotel side. I'm going to go down the stairs step and watch. Loading screen. So you get two loading screens. You get the connecting walkway one, and then you get the station floor, hotel first floor loading screen. You don't get that at Riverside. I don't know why, but for some reason, this one right here has the loading screen. You go to Riverside. Same thing. Go front the car here. Now the staircase is just conveniently to your left. Go easy access. Go up there, you don't have the loading screen. This is all part of that area. I guess it's connected to the outside area. So they don't get, count it really until even, say you probably get there. I think they count this part. No, no, not at all. So this is all part of that open world outside right there. No loading screens until you go to the connecting one. So this is just a little bit of the faster route. Just in case you don't want to do all that running. stocks for a couple days because I want to maximize my profit so I can buy the things I want. Kami's dress, that's like, what, 13000 I want to say? You're wondering how you're going to make that 13000 And Efroberg to get that dress for Kami, the one that she's wearing for her shows. Keep that for about, I want to say, I wouldn't say 13 days exact, well, at least in my case. If you're just making the 500 to 1,000, it might be 13 days, it might be a little longer. If you're already playing the stock market, there's money from the newspaper and other things. Could be a little less. I'll show you. I'll, I'll probably buy about 13 to 1,500. I'm thinking after tonight. I wasn't making 800. Yeah, that's about right.
think it is you, Hayes, and I have my uh, stocks. I don't have stocks, my real estate property. Let me just go check this one real quick. Yeah, okay. But you can only have one real estate property at a time. You can't have one, one per city. So, that's alright. Let's go back to the station and down here. No biggie. Going in the back way, you can pretty much. Go straight to the room. Alright, so I'm gonna sleep here till morning. I want you to watch the money. It was 800, remember, it was it like 847? people out there who can probably do that without a calculator, you already know the difference. For uh, people like me, we need to use a calculator. That's $500 I just made on those stocks. A little over, about 502 But just to keep it nice, even number like that, uh, we can just say 500 I just made 500 off that. Like I said, you're going to make about 500 in between 500 to 1000 per day with those. So stick it right to that. Made 502. It's a little over. Now I could sleep here. Again. I'll sleep here one more time. All day. Let's see if that number changes at all. Alright, so that last number was 1349. Thirteen forty-eight. So well, I just said your difference. So five hundred and one. Still roughly around that five hundred mark. So like I said, you're not gonna make any less than five hundred pretty much off these keeping these stocks. I don't need to necessarily keep these stocks because I just have quite a bit of money. Um on this playthrough I'm, I have quite a bit of money. So I'm gonna go unload these stocks where we can see the Mobile one more time. I'm going to go to the factory, the GT Dub, one more time. We're going to We're going to give them the stocks. You're going to realize it's a mission to become rich. stocks still saying that there aren't many in circulation. Well, today's your lucky day, buddy. Talk about Rosa and Algernon. What? You have 400 stocks from both? Will you sell them to me? I'll pay you an extra 8,000 er on 
top of the check. Yes. Hell yes. He's even gonna throw in a part for our Trotmobile. It's actually a pretty decent part called the Pile Bunker. We're gonna sell for the Pile Bunker. Yes, sell to the ambitious worker, Joaquin. is a missable piece. This is, right here is a missable component for your drop mobile. I'm not quite sure I if I've I've never really seen it like combined into anything. I think it's just a, a nice like decent weapon. And I think defensive I have defense capabilities on it for your um, drop mobile. I'll test it out here in a little bit of a battle. So we got the pile bunker. one who gives a pile bunker on the game. So we got 8,000. You are. Our sir. All on the street. We give them the stocks. We got the parts we need. Welcome!
Yep, there's a dress right there, that dress that she's wearing. That's right the Words penetrate into everybody's soul. Again, that's a Nepro bird. And yes, oh gosh, I was a victim so of your words. You suddenly said you love me. You were a fool to say so. Up there, man. I'm basically playing down some tracks on that one. Hey, I'm in that. Ooh, basically ripping it up. That is the $13,000 draft. <laughs> Alright, let's go with code 40. I like to do 40 kind of makes it interesting.
Oh, uh, they should have put a, like a chord right there with the accordion. That would have been perfect. Oh, it's great. Actually, more complicated than the drums somehow. Because you gotta think, okay, pressing down, but also moving motion left, right.
socks? Yes, I did. Really? Thank you so much. So they're making up, seeing the errors of their ways. Uh, sappy kind of ending here. Settling their differences, putting them aside, and talking about a new, uh, prosperous journey into the future together as friendly rivals. And then, Joaquin says, You forget about me, motherfuckers? Hello there. I was just waiting for a chance to introduce myself. I am your king. I've just become the new owner of the hotel, so I wanted to stop by and introduce myself. It seems you can gain control of a company if you own a majority of the outstanding stocks. That is all, gentlemen. Report to be your boss.
that's gonna be the ending of that quest for now. If we go up and hunt the Rosa again, it's because we took the stocks. It's not your fault. We're the ones who trusted your keep. So already, something kind of like, I don't know, we, we trusted him. Are they already doubting it? He's introduced himself as the owner of the hotel, so it's actually going to be a good place to wrap up on this stream for tonight. We've got the hotel battle world quest done, and yes, it is a long one, but worth it. I think it's actually a good way to end this stream for the night. We'll be trying out this new pile bunker arm. So what's unique about this arm that makes it a unique frame is it's a um, weapon and a shield, pretty much. Show you what I mean here, guys. And so I can, I'll show you what I mean. It's like a weapon and a shield. Let's go to the arena.
This is gonna be the real test. He has a he has a bitch ass long range arm and he has Excalibur, so this is gonna be a, a good test just to see the defense gonna be capabilities of it. Um, as much as I hate to lose the Elder. <laughs> Elder fight? Are you That's all right. I literally 
cannot do any day. That is the that is the champion. That was literally the champion of the WTC. Can't do anything, any damage against the pile bunker arm. This is the best defensive item in the game, hands out. Like, you will not, and you have an attack, and you have attack. Alright, let's 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 get a little bit of some defense. Defense and some offense going. strongest damage wise um so could even get through my shield didn't even break through. we even get to like halfway It'd be like a little bit under half he, w he was done for he wasn't gonna do i could have i meant right now get him fertilize him i'm so betting on you saffron see how much we can get a combo come on saffron baby <laughs> The shield that shield is not good. Not, good. not even the strongest weapon in the game. Oh, right. that's a good place. 